happy Sunday morning to you today. It's Debbie Keaton, your Stamping Up demonstrator. <clears throat> um, just to remind you that this is my Facebook page. You can order from my website and this is my Instagram page to get ideas. So today we're going to be making a bottle bag. Um, I'm just going to put this dirty piece of grid paper down because it's not fully used yet and I don't want to waste it. So we're going to make this bottle bag. Um, this is using the Whiskey Business stamp set from Stamping Up. And we're going to use the decanter, the glass and the sentiment cheers to you. So that's what I did earlier. So let's get a bag. Now the first thing that I do, because the bag has got folds in it, so we've got this fold here and this fold here. That obviously makes an uneven surface for stamping. So what I do is put a piece of card in and then everything's the same. And everything's the same then can't get the card in. There we go. Now, as you can see from this one I made earlier, I've got this inked area. Now it's come over what is essentially, that isn't actually a fold, it's where it's pressure's been put on it in the post. So it, it makes a line there when you ink it. So what I want to do is make sure I've got the stamp high enough so that when I ink it, I don't get this bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this circle pattern on it now so I can see where I need to pop my stamp. So this is my... Um, circle pattern and we just need to be just above that mark let's pull this back push that forward and pull this back if I just pop this on the grid lines I can see if I've got it central it's about right stick that down so it don't move and we're all ready to stamp so what I'm stamping in is Memento ink and I'm stamping in with, with Memento because I'm going to um, colour with alcohol markers and when you stamp with Memento ink um, the ink won't bleed when you use the markers. Nice crisp image. Stamp that ink off. Then we've got the glass. Small block. The glass has actually got two little ice cubes in it as well, which is a nice touch. And then we wanted the cheers to you sentiment. There we 
acá. Move that out of the way. So this one, the last one you, you saw was actually for raspberry flavoured vodka. That was going in the bag. Um, I know, <laughs> I do know that raspberry flavoured vodka isn't that colour, but it's better than just having it as as clear. This one is actually for Jaeger, so I'm going to colour it brown when I just find my pen because Jaeger is brown. So we found out yesterday. We were all debating what colour it was because we've only ever drank it with mixers. Well, R Ray claims to have never drank it before, which I find hard to believe. Um, because it's... it's <laughs> He's XRAF and he'll drink absolutely anything. So I find it hard to believe that he hasn't had a Jaeger. Um, and then I couldn't remember because I actually don't like the taste of it. So I always have a mixer in it. And it's not something I don't drink very often either. Um, it is the sort of drink that you need to be slightly of a less lucid nature to drink it in the first place. So just colouring this in nicely. The other reason for putting the cardboard in as well not only are you guaranteed to get a crisp image on your stamps because you haven't got those folds getting in the way but when you colour with alcohol markers it will go through the paper and this would these parts where you've coloured would appear on the back of the bag whereas now if you look at this one look it's actually gone onto the cardboard rather than the back of the bag so it just looks a bit nicer so what we're going to do now when I get the lid back on is we are going to colour the ice cube in a nice light blue colour because the top of this one ice cube is just sticking out of the drink and then we're going to colour the glass that's showing and the the glass that's showing on the decanter a, a pale grey just to take that stark whiteness out of it really so it looks just a little bit better. just not so in your face when you just give it a bit of background colour and it's not the grey's not dark enough for you to think glass in that colour it's just the right colour just to make it pop really that's that bit done um, I'm just going to take a bit of that blue colour out with the blender pen um, a blender pen just takes some of the colour you've added out of whatever you've added it to There we 
like that. So that's that done. So now we just want to ink the edges of this. So we're going to use Delightful Dijon for that. Um, because I think it's the nearest colour to this. So what I do when I'm inking is I just start off the paper and gradually work onto it. And it just gives you a, a bit of a little better colour in uh, coverage really. And you don't get too much ink then all in one spot. So there we go. So then we can take this off. <clears throat> Your masking tape, by the way. I've obviously secured this to the top of the bag with masking tape, but what I know masking tape isn't very tacky to start with. But what I just do is to take some of the tackiness out of it is because it can still rip your paper is just lay it a couple of times over my trousers or the arm of my jumper and it just takes some of that tackiness away and then it's definitely not going to rip your paper when you pull it off which sometimes can happen so let's just do that a bit more so that's the bag um, all you need to do is add a tag and a bit of ribbon to the handles just to dress it up a little bit and then that's the ideal gift bag for somebody thanks for watching bye